Well, here we are. The place is ours now. What do you mean, ours? That it's ours. When you agreed to marry me, I went and arranged everything. I know my mother well, and I knew I'd need to make some plans beforehand. <laughs> so that's the reason you were telling me everything was arranged. Why would I drag you into an adventure without first ensuring everything would be fine? Uh -huh. I can't believe it. Now we should go on in. We're gonna sign a contract first. Then this entire place here, the courts, the pools, the halls, the cafe and the shop will be all ours. It's our new business. And the manager will be one, Anna Varal. <sighs> oh, Ken, welcome, hello. Hello, my friend, how's everything with you? Good, yourself? Anna, hello. Hello. Anna, sit down. So, aren't you gonna congratulate us? You can wish us well, at least. Of course I will. Give me a chance. Congrats. I wish you both happiness. Thanks. Uh, we're all still pretty surprised. It was rather sudden. It was sudden for us, too. So, anything to drink? Would you care for some juice or coffee? I don't know. Anna? I don't think we should waste any more time. Well, then, let's cut to the chase. We don't have much time. If the checks have been cashed and deposited, and if the agreement is ready, let's sign the papers and finish this thing. Ken, Ken, look, I don't know how best to put this. Something's happened. And I changed my mind about handing this over. What is it that's happened? It was something unexpected. Here, let me say it for you. Natalia Varal called you up, and she told you that she'd ruin you if you were to sign this contract with me. How did Mother find out? You were supposed to keep it a secret. She just found out, Ken. I don't know how. Don't lie to me. Did you tell her? How did I ever trust you? I swear I didn't tell her anything. She called me in the morning and I... She told me to send back the check, so I had to. Ken! Eunice had to hold on for one day! Eunice had to hold on for one day till we could sign the damn contract! Ken, I'm sorry, I really am. But I can't risk being enemies with Miss Natalia. Try to understand me. I'm not a big-time, powerful businessman. Ken! Let's go, come on. Ken! <sighs> Hello. Miss Natalia. Yes. They just now left. They came in together. No, I didn't sign anything. Okay. I'll send the checks back now. Best regards. It's your mom. Don't answer it. Ken. I said don't answer it. I won't let her celebrate her victory. Hello. Good day, Mrs. Natalia. I'm the receptionist at Dr. Belma's office. From Dr. Belma's? I'm listening. Yes, Mrs. Celine was here today for an examination, but she forgot her phone when she was leaving. I just wanted to let you know. Do you think just you a second. Send? I don't get it. Celine went for an exam with Dr. Belma? Yes, ma'am. I think that she may have some very good news to give you. She must have forgotten her phone in her excitement. If you can send someone to have it picked up... Okay. Yes, I'll do that. Thanks for calling. <sighs> I left my phone behind earlier. Is it here? Yes, here it is. Uh, I was just tell... Thank you so much. <laughs> Mrs. Celine, congratulations. <laughs> Ken. 
Didn't we tell each other that we'd be strong no matter what? You can't break down like this. I lost, Anna, and my mother's won. But we knew that it would come to this. It wouldn't be any different if you got the club. She would keep on messing with us. But at least then we'd have some income. We wouldn't have to depend on Mother. How are we going to live now? We'll just work. <sighs> Come on, give me a break. We don't even have a home. Where are we going to live? You asked whether I was in for living a penniless life with you, and I answered yes. I don't care about the money, all right? I can't make you live a miserable life. Never mind me. Tell me, are you in for a penniless life with me yourself? I can't answer that. Oh, yes, you can. No, I can't. Where are you going? Out to take a walk. Let me come with you. We can walk by the water. I need to be alone and think for a bit. Are you regretting marrying me? Don't ever ask me such a thing again. Okay? I'm very happy that I married you. I just need to find a solution to all this. Okay. Miss Zainab, how are you? Hello, Mrs. Selena. I hear Ken got married. Congratulations. Wait, Ken got married? Uh, uh, when? And to whom? Oh, but didn't you know? He got married yesterday to someone named Anna. I wish them happiness. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, thanks. Have a good day. Good day. Can you bring me my car? Hello, Ken. I heard you and Anna got married, and I had no idea. Celine, please. But why didn't you tell me? Haven't I always supported your decisions? Celine, I can't talk at the moment. I'm very upset right now. Why are you upset? Ken, we really need to meet up. There are some things that we need to talk about. Let's talk face to face. Is that okay, Celine? Mm -hmm. 